Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Age of Imperialism off for Hearts of Iron 4. Right now, we've already gone to war with Russia, and now uh, here are the casualties. We've lost a couple of dudes here and there against the Russian state, which actually has not been really easy to push into, but right now we're looking pretty big and thick. The way we like it, we've gotten rid of about a million Russians right now, but and China's not having a good time right now, but whatever. Um, yeah, our front is right now stalled, even though I did push the tanks up here as well, but really, that, that's the main group. They're, they're doing stuff in the Scandinavian region. Hello. Well, I guess China's really not doing well now, is it? Oh, well. Uh, China. China, 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 China. We'll close out of that. You know what? We got political power for this. Why not? Factories, donations, joint training. We don't really need the joint training, but we'll do it anyways because we can. <clears throat> but as you can see, we're still fighting down here. Things are going... Well, things are going. Um, They do have some Russian armor down there, but... That doesn't look very strong, so... Overall, like, usually... It's not a good idea to attack when you don't you don't have enough divisions, but things happen. Oh, they're attacking us! Oh, look at that! They're, they're attacking us! Look at that! That's that very nice. That's very nice. Cool. So I do want to try to make maybe a couple of circles. Maybe we'll see what happens. No guarantees, of course. No guarantees. But I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. We got some comments to go through as we have pushed pretty well into the Middle East through our parts of Africa here. So um, yeah, overall not too bad. You know, as they want to keep attacking, I'm okay with that. Yeah, the Poles didn't do that well against us, but you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Difficult situation of our colonies. Our overseas territories and you considerable investments to be able to return to the pre crisis state and be useful in the upcoming wars. Pretty much. Even though we're already at war, but how for Sweden? The Swedes have felt the crisis hard on their own skin, and, and some of them are even ready to blame us for the misfortune. Therefore, it seems reasonable to focus our aid stream to Sweden, and then up for Denmark. The Danes have felt the crisis hard on their own skin, and some of them have already been to blame us for the misfortune. Therefore, it seems reasonable for... To focus their HQ on Denmark? Oh, well, that's exactly I'm reading. Huh, okay, well, whatever. You know, they want to keep attacking. I am more than happy to oblige them. Especially since our field's not looking terrible right now. Oh, don't... Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really care about that down there. Um, Ching China. Well, I got no resistance, that sucks. Oh, they're really, desperately trying to attack us down here. Or up here, I should really say. Holy cow. Civilian economy stuff. Uh, oh, we got someone in jail. That's not good. Who's in jail? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh, that's cool. And let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. Right here. A true work of art. Very nice. Yeah, they definitely... They're definitely trying to push us out. But, whatever. Um... Yeah, why not? We have no steel, but... Things happen. Uh, medium SP artillery. Yeah, let's get some better artillery already. I don't like that we can't get out of free trade, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. What are the calories like so far? 3.09 million? Obviously, like... Well, maybe not obviously, but... Hello, Roman von Ungern-Sternberg. They have a lot of manpower. They've got a lot of manpower. They're going to run out of guns much more quickly than anything else, so... Uh, they do have quite a few guns left. Okay, maybe not. They have like 6,000 guns left. So, as long as they can't do anything, as long as they lose the guns, we'll be fine. We'll be more than fine. Ambusher. Oh, who can't give us our goods? Oh, we're getting stuff from German Asia, which is fine. It is only 37. 1937, which is weird to say, but... Um, 38, 37... Sure, why not? It's almost 38, so... And who can give us our goods? We're doing relatively okay on field China. Why? Need a little more from you. We need, as you can tell, a god-awful amount of steel. Like, holy cows are bad. 16 is fine with us. U.S., I don't want to trade with the seas. Go down to three, that's fine. Yes. Help for Sweden, help for the Danes, too. And after the helping out the Danes, what are we going to do here? Strength of Morocco, Middle Africa. Uh, strengthen our grip in the Far East and Pacific. Well, it's a little late for that. Okay, so I'll help them out. German Asia is the furthest overseas territory from Germany in our hands. Thanks to it, we not only have the opportunity to intervene in the matters of the Far East, but more importantly, we have secured deliveries from the priceless raw material that is rubber produced from rubber growing in the areas. We should make efforts to improve the functioning of our administration in this region. God dang, they've actually pushed us out. But they're out of guns now, so... I'm not sure what their real goal was, but whatever. 1940, 1940, uh, 39. It's only about a year ahead of from there. I think it's more up because we could probably use it, honestly. What cost are they willing to pay to push us completely out? Because they just took another 300,000 casualties, so... A 
Have a look at another guy. Gunther Schultz. 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 There you go. Uh, infiltration levels are deep. Yeah, we're really spread ourselves out here. Oh, wow. Look up. Uh, and we have our other armory too. So we technically have a second front opened up in Turkey, basically. So overall, not bad. Maybe you need some radar. Go and grab some radar and get some more planes too. So overall, really not that bad. You know, are we lacking guns? We got hundred and some thousand. Yeah, we're fine. Rocket artillery, and eh, whatever. Now uh, we're still working on that stuff, which is nice. Anything there? Anything here? Yeah, as you can tell, the game's pretty laggy. Oh, there's a lot. Good, good, good. They're gone. Good. And we're doing the best we can. I'm, as you can tell, I'm not really paying attention to this front that much, but hey, we can link up. That's awesome. Ah, yes, yes. Invade any of Micronesia. Oh, uh, wow. There's some Chinese divisions, aren't they? Well, alright. Hemen Hoff. Uh, let's go with Von Weiting. Wietinghoff. Okay. Um, I'll be honest, man. Uh, let's make you like normal. Make you nice and thick. I mean, we got more than enough army XP for this, so I don't really feel bad about doing this. And the supplies are going to suck really hard. It's alright. Uh, go logistics. You need logistics here. And... Go signal. Why not? Can I convert you guys? Oh, you, oh I can. That's, yeah, that's better. There you go. So I'll throw you guys down here probably. Hmm. Hmm. I, I said I would use false Shimiego, but we haven't really used them yet. You know what? Take you guys out. Maybe like the Middle Eastern front or something. Yes. So you guys will come down to oh that, we actually lost Africa. That's good. not good or Cairo. That's really not good actually. Top of Denmark, far east, Dutch Middle Africa. Let's do support for the Swedish army first. Sweden is the northern flank of the Reich's back, squeezed by the barbaric Soyuzniki, and currently in a region capable of betraying us at the first opportunity. If we want them to be as useful as possible in upcoming conflicts, it is better if they are strengthened by us. Yeah, these guys are going to fall pretty pretty well. And they're just still going at it right now. Which is fine with us. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but still. Um, 38? Is there anything else we can do for 38? We've got 30, stuff from 39. Land auction is completely done. Um, ship, stuff, ship stuff would be probably pretty good to do. But still. Why not? Cool. Process of liberalization. Alrighty, righty, righty. And we're still pushing into here, so. 16 division, that's a lot. Yeah, we're definitely getting a circle here, aren't we? I got the radar, though. That's nice. Um. Yeah, just that this is such a huge group, and we're fighting the Allies at the same time, or the Commonwealth of Nations. Yeah, it's just huge, massive, just massive. You're out of guns, right? Yeah, they're completely out of guns. Any damage you do, hope that they can't repair. They got some motorized, a few mechanized. They literally have no planes left, so we should be completely. Yes, we are. We are green as grown. Um. I don't. Want, I, I do want to do a general attack. Oh, we didn't get that area too. Uh, let's grab you real quick. Thank you. Throw you back. Actually, stay there. You can help defend for now. You never know what we're gonna find. But cryptology-wise, UK, Spanish Republic. Can we just do like a general attack, maybe? Probably a really bad idea. Because they're completely out of guns. Any damage we do, <clears throat> they cannot replace. So. Investment in raw materials, Swedish raw materials. Sweden is rich in resources, which are critical for us. If we want more available to us, as well as in a, we will grow our ally in, in strength. It's reasonable to make several investments. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Alright, so since you guys are down here, I'm going to actually have you do the entire front. And just go, because we can move these guys around as well. Uh, the Chinese soldiers are... Oh, oh, it's a land connection. That's nice. Is that you, though? Nice. Death charge mortars. Uh, air doctrine is completely done as well. 1940 stuff. Let's get another strategic bomber, maybe? I don't know. 
War bonds, maybe? Those are usually pretty good to get. Hey, Federation. That's right, just gone, huh? Okay, well. Alright, whatever. 38, well. Could always use more extraction, I guess. Now you Schneider. Uh, I don't want to put you with the Chinese divisions, but these guys are not Chinese divisions, so. Fine, just come over here. We'll be fine. Black Sunday at Bondi Beach, huh? Oh, British Mashrik is gone. Very nice, guys. Very good job. Black and now is wounded. Makes sense. I'll go there. I'm going to throw you guys somewhere else. Put them with the tanks for now. It's fine, whatever. Ah, uh, German Asia. Alright, extraction. Daily manpower. Why not? Help those guys out. Advanced landing craft. There, grab that because you can, because why not? Screw it. And. Investment, increase investment in Denmark. Although the army of the Kingdom of Denmark is not the most impressive, their fleet seems to be remarkable. If we decide to properly support our allies, we can expect a significant increase in the efficiency of their navy. Not bad. Crap, that sucks. I don't want to keep getting raided from there, but still. 5.22 million, we've suffered about 600,000 casualties, roughly, so that's not terrible. Not great, but not bad. Uh, Overall, we're making big gains. Big gains across all fronts, except for here. Oh, we don't talk about that one, though. Let's go in. They want to flood through here? Oh, well, they have the option to. They have the option to die. Suicide pills, yummy. Denmark? I don't know what Denmark wanted in the Middle East, but whatever. Yeah, look at that. that they're looking really bad. Destroyers are the basis of our fleet. Well... I keep doing that focus rush. It's going to help you out. It's going to help you out a lot. 12 million manpower. Nice. Oh, 12 and a half, really. But whatever. Same thing, basically. Wild Ace Pierce. Very nice. Get those many bodies as you want. But if you have no guns, you can't do jack squat. And we got a circle here, too. God dang it. Kind of figured. As you can tell, I don't really care too much about this. Uh, this part of the front, so. Oh, we don't even have control over this here. Oh, crap. I'll go up. Yeah, seriously, just go up. I want you guys to force the attack, though. Like, I want you to move. But we can't do that. God dang it. Because even though this front's not moving that fast, um, our southern front is still pushing very well right now. So any damage they think they can mitigate is just not going to be possible. Again, the central part of the front here is looking very good. We killed off a lot of divisions. They have 153, now they're 124. Nice. This is looking not too bad. Over here, don't look at this. Ah, uh, we lost our division sucks. Ah, uh, we lost our division sucks. Not sure what these people wanted, but, you know, whatever. Denmark is doing okay. We still have a lot of manpower, look at that. Um, UK, yeah, a couple million. Look at that, nice. We got some awesome convoys, but that's okay. It happens. Or we'll actually go there. That's fine. Nice, overrun them. 109 divisions, awesome. Overrun some more divisions down here too. So we kept our tanks up top because there's just so many god awful divisions around there. Good, look at Iran. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Protection of the Danish Straits. The Danish Straits play an extremely important role when it comes to safeguarding the northern flank of Germany. And also helps maintain our advantage in the Baltic Sea. Thanks to control over these straits, it's possible to cut off enemies' fleets' access to the Baltic Sea, as well as trap enemy fleets on it, or in it. Therefore, increasing their defenses seems to be a pretty reasonable choice. Incorporate, uh, incorporation of Luxembourg into the Reich. Luxembourg seems to be in a crisis that its own power cannot end. If the Principality of Luxembourg wishes us to help them, they must agree to formal annexation as a new Principality within the German Reich. Not bad, not bad. 
Well, we'll get, we got Suez back, so. Screw these guys. And we're going to get Baku soon. All that extra fuel. Oh, baby boy, I cannot wait. Straight to Baku. Because, you know, like I said, this front's not moving great. that great. Um, these guys, how, how much more manpower do you have? Seriously. You should have literally nothing here. And they don't. They just have so many bodies. I'm going to roll over the bodies. Ah, we got Baku. Beautiful. Look at all that fuel. Holy crap. That's impressive. Suicide pills, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I'll just... That's looking pretty good. This, not so much, but whatever. Hello. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Hopefully your eyes deal with that. Seriously? Seriously. Alright then. We got more than enough fighters to spare. And then get some bombers or casts or something here. Get some naval bombers. Early bombers. Should be good enough. Just do the Middle Eastern section. <laughs> oh, and this one too. Nice. Cool. And you will go where? I don't know. I'll save you for now. We need less resources. We need more anti-air now. China's gone. Goodbye. Goodbye, China. Public of China, I should really say. That should definitely help us out here. Doing well down here, too. Actually, since we're here. God dang it. Denmark. Piece of garbage. Thank God. Can we at least, like, build stuff here now? Nope. Alright. Well, German age is gone. That sucks. Von Bikes has been wounded. But even controlling Baku, we still don't have enough. Uh, who are you? I did not request you to become... Get out. Because you can. Ah, thank God Purge is gone. Let's make it easier up here. Nice. Okay. Italian dude's gone. Goodbye, Italian dude. You must have learned a lot here. Like, learn, 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 but still. Oh, we actually pushed over. Thank God. Thank God. We're pushing all the way to flipping India now. Holy crap. And Afghanistan. Uh, 8 million couches is not bad. I can't believe we made it to Afghanistan. Nice. Oh, I'm not going to be Australasia or Australia. Sorry, I'm just I'm not interested. That's, a, that's incredibly boring. That's stupid. Making them a major power? Not fun. Not fun whatsoever. Oh, the Reich incorporates Luxembourg. Yes. Strengthening ties with Morocco. Morocco is one of our gains that we gained from the defeat of the French in the war 20 years ago. Due to the strategic, strategic value of the region, we were forced to partially disappoint the expectations of the Moroccans and their Sultan for independence, and therefore the state became our protector now, however. After the crisis, we should try to make some compensation to the people of Morocco. Machiavellianism. Something, 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 and we try to do the best we can with the, the Moroccans. Moroccans, yeah. Let's do expansion of Moroccan military infrastructure. If we want the Moroccans to fight on our side within the upcoming conflicts, we must provide their army with weapons and appropriate infrastructure, which we will be able to use. Nice. I guess some warm clothing is probably a good idea. Oh, thanks. Process of liberalizing. Very nice. Very nice. Um, do that one too, because you can. What is wrong with you over here? A lot of things. Go here and just kill them off. Oh, you completely abandoned this area, did you? Holy crap, why'd you do that, man? 
Oh, so you both are actually over here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine then. How's the fleet looking? Only six extra ships, huh? That's not very good. Nice. I just want Russia to capitulate. That's like our main goal right now. They don't have that many divisions left. 34. Yeah, as you can tell. We can tell. They only have 34 divisions left. Now after Morocco. Support the Moroccan army. Strengthen our military mission in Morocco so that can easily and really influence the development of the Moroccan army. Seems to be a sensible decision. Nice. Oh, nice. Why not? Oh, Japanese people fighting against Russians. Nice. As much as I want to use these guys, I don't really care about them that much. But well, maybe we can use them in, in uh, Asia here. If I want guys. Did we really capitulate those guys? I thought we did. Hoth, that's fine for now. Does anyone have upgrades? Let's take a look here. Yes. Eh, well, can't actually upgrade anything right now. Um, gonna use that. Gonna use that too. Oh, so they just moved on. Huh. All right. I want you back here. Just kill these guys off. Shouldn't be that bad. All right. No fuel. Support the Moroccan army. And economic support for the protectorate. Morocco can become a beautiful object of our investments within the Reichsback, which will undoubtedly significantly strengthen their economy. Pretty much, man. Sure. Oh, we're out of support coming too, huh? That sucks. Sucks, bro. It's all right. I mean, we're already past... We're getting close to the Urals now. And Afghanistan is falling like nice. Like just yes. Oh, you have an encirclement here? Yeah. D die. No, it's a man. It's a plane. No, it's Superman. Nice. Cool. Because we can. Sure, guys. We want to fight over the Middle East. Go right ahead. Make our day. Only 9 million have died. Is that all? So we really capitulate these guys. All we need is Russia to die. Which, I mean, once they lose St. Petersburg, it's going to be much easier, but still. A couple comments. Um, so it says I should do the 1930s mod. Yeah, eventually. I'd like to do that one. Am I producing outdated ships? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Just because um, I said it to... We have updated ships. We can't really use them until these other ships are out, so... Or it's going to stay like, stay like that for now, so yeah, it's fine. Even if they're outdated, they're still not that bad. Honestly, like, any... Almost... Well, some ships, like, level 2, for heavy ships, capital ships, I'm fine with. At least as long as you're using that, and, and above, you're okay. Like, heavy ship 1s, I'm like, eh, they're okay. Heavy ship 2s, they're, they're generally pretty good, as long as you have enough of them, and... Uh, screens, too, but... Are starting point in Africa? Thank God those guys are gone. Morocco's are starting point for both North Africa and the East Atlantic and even the Mediterranean. The more developed this region and the more it can help give us in the event of war, the better. Nice job, guys. See, that's why we put the tanks over here. Because they did great. On to St. Petersburg. And he'll sink you then. Go straight on in, my friends. Nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, since we're here, are we still putting up Nej? Well, maybe not. Afghanistan looking, do be looking great, though. Hmm. Henry T. Falls ill. Oh, yes, please get some extraction. Please. Oh, my gosh. We're extracting so much, but still not enough. Japanese claims against Germans. Oh, we're already at war with them. So, I don't, I don't understand what claims you have that you haven't already stated. 
Alright, so this will be you guys. You guys go to Helsinki. Um, maybe get two in Helsinki, actually. Uh, I'll send you to here, Arabia. Send you down to here for now. Want, we gotta fix that Cairo stuff, too. Come to the Raj. Come to Afghanistan. Come down to the Protector of Bukhara. Come to... Vladivostok. Mm. You're too in Delhi. It's fine. I know we're not using them as paratroopers right now, but if we can get down here quick enough, that'd be great. Alright, starting point in Africa. Dreams of Middle Africa. If we ever want Middle Africa to be created, we must make every effort to ensure that our African colonies will become a glittering example of how to manage colonial areas on the Black Continent. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh! There goes Afghanistan. Thank God we finally got him. The Afghan people now have a new master. Oh, that was nice. Russia's gotta be close. They've gotta be close. Yeah, look at that. 96% of the way there. Not bad. Do we get encircled? How the heck do we get encircled? Any brands? Anything else here? Not really, no. Beautiful. Also, right, go and do this. Go some more stuff over here. Get some radar as well on both of these. Should be good. Start partying in Africa. James in Middle Africa. Invest in our positions in America. Recently, the tourism industry seems to be growing faster and the profits are increasing. If we accumulate funds properly in our colonies in America, some people will be ready to pay us to come to this tropical paradise. That's definitely one way of putting it. Oh god, we can send our tanks down here too next. Once Russia's gone though. And then again, once Russia's gone, I'm probably going to end the campaign. Just because we're pretty much, we're pretty much one. We're pretty much one, man. Pretty much one. Ah. Sucks. Ah, sucks. Sucks. Oh, we're doing really well in the Raj. Like, we're doing really well overall. You know, I'm really pleased how this has gone. A modern camouflage, cool. Get some cold stuff, even though it's only July, but whatever. Ninety-eight percent of the way there, very good. We got our Alcongos, maybe we might be able to win, but we'll see. This is a massive border. Oh, we could cut these guys off. That'd be awesome. Go in. Cut them off. Is that? Oh, do we? Do we cut them off yet? We're getting close, very close. Um, engineers, stuff like that. Here. Oh, we. Okay. We got him. Let's be fair to Romania first. Because we are generous overlords, are we not? Oh, you're at Dobrugia. Odessa, no, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, makes it easier to just take everything. Do we deserve everything? Absolutely not, but whatever. Cool. All right then. Looking not too bad. All right, so I'll read a couple of these more of these focuses. Um, if you want to read about these stuff, please go right ahead. You know, I'll let you read it. But scientific exchange, show them how real fortifications are being built. Military cooperation, trade cooperation. Can't do that one, huh? Our friends at the end of the world. Very cool. Very very cool. Security of Indonesia, investments in Indochina, investments in defense of Papua, naval and air bases on the islands, invest in Ost Africa, and West Africa, investing in Sweden West Africa. Expansion of military infrastructure in, the, in West Africa and Sweet West Africa. And also Africa and the part of the German crown. Cool. Pro of the German crown. You get more political power. Way more political power. Better consumer goods. More stability, more support. That's awesome. Uh, particular invest. Oh, we can't do that anymore. Precious deposits in Guyana. Starting point for South America. And of course, marine bases in the Caribbean, of course. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it for us. There's doesn't seem like there's really anything else, which is totally fine. We've played pretty much through the entire tree, which is basically what I always want to do. And... 
pretty much any campaign. Just get through the trees as much as possible, but I don't think there's anything else here. But if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed the campaign, hey, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.